Hello! I'm Ben and this is Mike. Today we're going to be trying three martinis based on warlock patrons. Welcome to the tavern. Alright, so we got uh, three drinks here. Yes, we do. They're all martini style drinks. Uh -huh. And they're based on the three warlock patrons from 5th edition of D&D. Rad. What are we calling them? So we got, starting over here, we've got the Fiend Martini. Okay. The Great Old Martini. <laughs> and the Archfey Martini. Okay. So, uh, just based on the names, um, Spicy Weird Sweet? Yeah, basically. Okay, what are we starting with? Uh, we're gonna start off with the Great Old Martini. Okay. So, <laughs> so that is a sort of a twist on a standard martini. You got gin and vermouth here. And we're going to stir this one. Okay. So we are going to start off with... Moving stuff around. Two ounces of gin. Okay. Gin, very standard for this type of thing. You know, New Amsterdam's a really cheap gin brand, but I really like it. Like for the for nine dollars a bottle, it's yeah, it's good bang for your buck. Amazing. So we're gonna follow that up with half an ounce or a quarter ounce of vermouth, depending on your taste. Yeah, vermouth is a little uh, unusual for this one. Um, I don't know. So so dry vermouth is uh, pretty standard for like a like a gin martini. Right. Um, if uh, if you're going for I'm like just... a dry martini, you wouldn't add the vermouth. Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like me some vermouth. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna follow it up with half an ounce or a quarter ounce, depending on your taste, mm -hmm. of black sambuca. I do like black sambuca. Now, do you want to talk a little bit about how this tastes? Uh, yeah. It, it, it's think think black licorice. Think like candy. It's sickly sweet. I'm going with a quarter ounce to. Uh, I, I did half an ounce of vermouth, so a quarter ounce of. Sambuca, or you could switch those amounts. Now, yeah, the thing I, you can't really, I guess you can, but uh, I don't really like drinking uh, black Sambuca on its own, but it mixes to make really interesting things. Um, oh, I can already smell it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so what's up next? All right. So we got black walnut bitters here. Okay. That's I interesting. Picked this up today from the store. All right. Uh, they are very nutty. They're very uh, uh, sort of a warm flavor. Hmm. Um, and they're gonna add a little bit of dimension to this drink. Okay. So a few dashes of those. Wonderful. Oh, that color is crazy. Yeah. It was a huge shift. And we're gonna put some ice in this and stir it. Okay. All right, and then we're going to stir. Generally, you wanna stir these for about 20 seconds to chill it enough. And that amount of time also adds the requisite amount of dilution for a drink like this. Because stirring it also dilutes dilutes it with a little bit of ice melt. Yep. <clears throat> I'm going to get the strainer on there and strain it into our glass. You know, for once, we're not straining a whole bunch of material out of the drink. It's just to keep the ice melt. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. I really like that color. It's, yeah. It's... Oh, gosh. That's hard to describe, and I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it's almost like... It's black, but it's not. <laughs> Look, if somebody's red, green, color blind, I choose not to classify this color. So we're going to drop a couple of green maraschino cherries in here. Okay, that's a very interesting topper. Just yeah. In terms of uh, flavor. So it, this is our alien fruit. This is our. Uh, <laughs> um, this is great old one themed. So. Okay. And that's our drink. Yeah. Let's get these out of your way. Sure. Why don't I try it? Yeah, go for it. Excellent. Hmm. Okay, so that's super interesting. Um, hmm. It's got a lot of bitters. In it. Okay, so the bitters and the uh, gin and vermouth work together to make this a very dry drink. Yes. Um, but it's got kind of a, a good sweet kick, especially you can taste those green uh, maraschino cherries and the, um, the sambuca. black sambuca. Yeah, uh, kind of giving it this kind of definitely sweet undertone. Um, this one's really, really interesting. Yeah, I, uh, we, we've actually done these drinks, uh, in sort of trial runs, and I've 
modified the recipe since the last time he's tried this. Yeah, so. this is this is. Uh, so last time we, we definitely had too much black sambuca, uh, which was the the major change that we made this time, which is why there's so little. This is like the exact right amount that you want to give it kind of just an undertone of that uh, licorice flavor, and then it's complemented by those uh, um, green maraschino cherries. So you get. Oh man, this is a really good one. <laughs> yeah, that, that that color, it's it's. Yeah. I, I decided to go real simple on the presentation. I could have I could have gone with yeah. so many things to get that theme across, but ultimately I just wanted like a garnish and a really cool looking liquid. Yeah. I, so what I like about this is that it's definitely a sipping drink. Uh, you're not gonna <laughs> chug your way all the way through this. Uh, it's it's a good one. I like it. All right, we're going to Wonderful. get these out of the way and do our next drink. And we're back! Uh, we're going to do the uh, Archfey Martini next. Alright, okay. Now, this one is sort of martini only in the sense that it comes in a martini glass. Uh, yeah, it's got a it's got a soda mixer in it, so okay. uh, it's, it's a martini-like drink, but uh, let's get into it. Right. So we are going to start off with the garnish, weirdly enough. Huh. So these are wild hibiscus flowers in syrup. That is super and weird. I have not actually opened this jar. There it goes. There we go. Strong man. Yeah. So these are very good. Uh, it, it seems like a weird ingredient, but you can actually find them in a lot of places. Yeah. Uh, got these from... It's, it's super weird. I don't know anything else other than like a mixed drink I would use wild hibiscus flowers on. How strange. Yeah. So get that out of there and Plop it right side up in the uh, thing there. Maybe do a little a bar spoonful of syrup. Okay. Cool. And uh, you mind capping that for sure me? Sure thing. What else are we doing? Um. Next, we're going to take our mixing glass. Sure. We're set that setting that to the side for now. Okay. Taking our mixing glass and adding half an ounce of absinthe. Okay, so absinthe uh, is strong and kind of crazy, so you want to be careful with it, obviously. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is Mansinth. It's uh, Marilyn Manson's special brand. Which we only like because it's a very, very good pun. We like that a lot. The alcohol content is 66.6 uh, as well. Oh, God. 60%. That's mm. a lot. So, <laughs> okay. We're but gonna... it's, not, it's not a lot of absinthe, so, you know, we should be... Hey, okay. Right. This also has kind of a licorice flavor to it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, licorice, anise, fennel. Uh, yeah, it's it's very different from uh, um, kind of our last uh, uh, black sambuca thing, uh, just in terms of flavor. But it's it's kind of comparable, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you like sambuca, you'll probably like absinthe, unless you only like sambuca for the sweetness, in which case you won't, because that's not sweet at all. No. Yeah. You normally you normally mix absinthe with something sweet, like just sugar, normally. So we're gonna follow that up with half an ounce of dandelion liqueur. Now this is a weird one. Okay, so does it taste like grass? Y kinda, yeah. It's, uh, it tastes like dandelions and sugar. Like, it's very... Uh, yeah, yeah, I can smell, it's like fruity-ish, uh, but not super fruity, like there's, it's aromatic. Uh, in, in a way that I didn't expect, like in a fruity, aromatic way. Yeah, it's very inoffensive, very, uh, um, boy. Very mild flavors. Yeah, this is very interesting. Okay, so this is going somewhere. So we're going to follow that up with 1.5 ounces or a shot of elderflower liqueur. Okay, so this is the meat of the drink. I yeah. just by volume. Um, yeah. So this is this is Fleur. Yes. This is a, a De Coiver brand, but uh, the more common, uh, more expensive version of this is Saint Germain. Okay, so. Uh, you could you could see the absinthe doing weird things with the uh, drink when it was mixed, and now yeah. it's kind of all stationary. So uh, we're going to ice, ice this up and stir. Okay. Yeah. Gonna stir this now. Mm -hmm. Twenty seconds, like last time. Yes. Okay. And strain into that. Yes. Alrighty. Bring that over. And Wonderful. Strain. Look at that coloring, that is crazy. Yeah, it's a little weird. I didn't expect that. Um, we're going to top with Sprite. 
Okay, what's the reasoning behind Sprite? Okay, so all of these are sort of to perpetuate the uh, Fey theme. Uh, oh, okay. We've got the uh, Elderflower and the Dandelion, they're flowery things. Same thing with the... Uh, Oh, and it's Sprite because Sprites are fairies. Yeah, oh, and Absinthe because, uh, what is the nickname for the Absinthe? <laughs> the Green Fairy. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, so that being said, uh, it does look like there's more method to the madness than just puns. Like, this, this is a, a yeah. fairly confident drink on its yeah, own, I in, think. In, in addition to all the name schemes and stuff, all of the flavor profiles work very well together. I guess that's not an accident, and... right? Um... Oh, you know what's cool about that? I don't know if the, the uh, camera's gonna pick it up, but you can absolutely see this kind of just bubbling all the way down to the flower, all the way yeah. up. And the bubbles actually are starting to open the flower up a little bit. It, yeah, it's, as it's it, sort of it, it looks spreading a, out inside the It looks the a little like it's blooming. Oh, that's very, very cool. Um, yeah. It's got an interesting just, just visual profile. You can see the whole uh, um, just uh, flower in the bottom of the glass. This and is a really good size glass for that as well. Yeah, so the absinthe adds a little bit of cloudiness, so it's got like this ethereal quality. <laughs> uh, it does, Very, absolutely. very fey. Okay, go for it. Oh, man. This is my favorite drink that I've ever made. Let me just say, it's... Yeah, I've had this one before. It's, it gets better every time. <laughs> it's, it's very, very interesting. It doesn't... Uh, it's, uh, it's sweet that has this light profile, not sweet as in bludgeon you with sweet um uh but it also doesn't taste super super alcoholic i guess it isn't at the end of the day i mean it's got a bit of absence for the kick you you'll you'll feel the alcohol but uh the the sprite uh the uh, uh yeah it, it all it all complements it really well um go. this one's this one's great ben i'm gonna finish this one later <laughs> okay and uh yeah you can eat the flower at the end of it once yes. once you once you drink it down to nothing you can eat the flower they kind of taste like raspberries yeah, it's really interesting uh <laughs> especially since it's been marinating in the rest of the drink it's going to have more of that flavor um boy this is this is a treat seriously make this one this is really really good <laughs> all right let's uh once again clean up and mm -hmm. move on to the next all righty so then there was one. This is, uh, I, I, I know Mike's not looking forward to this one because he's had it before and he knows what's in it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, okay, so this isn't as bad as like the one that like physically burned me. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, this one's gonna be fun. Uh, it, it isn't actually all that bad, uh, all things considered. We've, uh, uh, they, let's get into it. Yeah, so this is the Fiend Martini yeah. and it, Lives up to the name. It is fiendish as okay. hell. Uh, so what you're working out with right now is vodka. Yes, Russian vodka. Russian vodka. It's called sickle, Hammer and Sickle, which yeah. Which is a great stereotypical name. So, we are going to do... an ounce of this. Wonderful. <clears throat> and an ounce of this kind of vodka. Lid stuck. This vodka. Wonderful. This is Sriracha UV. Uh, Classic on this channel. <laughs> and we're gonna do another ounce of this. I hate flavored vodka in general. I especially hate flavored vodka that isn't flavored anything like drink. Yeah. Unless so, you drink Sriracha. Oh god. Oh, I can smell that. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. So the reason that we're doing half and half instead of all Sriracha vodka is because this stuff is sweet. Like, you would not yeah. think that sriracha flavored stuff would be sweet, but this stuff is it, like. Yeah, they candy. have to make it drinkable. Like, yeah, yeah, but like, make it savory, you know? No, it's. Like, I just, make it taste like sriracha. This is. It just tastes like spicy sugar water. It, it is, yeah, it is definitely that. But it does no. add the level of needed spice that we need for this yes. drink. Yes, uh, what's this next one? So this is that vermouth again, yes. dry vermouth. Okay, wonderful. So we're gonna add just a touch of this, Yeah, we need half a, ounce. We need a little bit of dry to balance out this nonsense. And... Okay. <clears throat> we're gonna add a dash of hot sauce. <laughs> this is habanero pepper sauce. All right, no, habanero pepper sauce, that's... Just, just a little dash. We're good, we're fine. Oh, that's a little more than a dash, Ben. Just a little dash. It's... We're, we're good. We're and a through. dash of Worcestershire. Uh, that was a couple dashes. Why? But the, uh, the idea behind this, these are all uh, Bloody Mary drink, or Bloody, Bloody Mary ingredients. Okay, fair enough. 
These are all Bloody Mary ingredients. Mine's the shrash up, but... Well, I mean, you, you could so put this. Is, this this makes a very good Bloody Mary. Okay. So this <laughs> this is a lot like a, a Bloody Mary. We're just kind of going for more of a martini. Yes. Yes. We are martiniizing the Bloody Mary. And that was... And also making it very spicy. So this was half an ounce of lemon juice. Wonderful. And what else? Don't need those. Maraschino cherries. Don't need those. Okay. We're not going to clean it up. I think that was it. Yeah, these are the garnish. All right. So we're going to ice this and stir away. 20 seconds as always. You get the drill at this point. All right. Let's get our garnish ready. Okay. These are cocktail onions. They're uh, pretty common for like a Gibson martini. Uh... Actually, I can't think of any other drinks that use these, but they're very good. Hmm. They're pickled tiny onions. Cute. We're gonna grab two of those. I guess people normally garnish with olives and stuff because they're sweet and not, um, you know, onions. <laughs> <laughs> but this isn't everybody's drink. Let's, uh, we can start with that kind of right. logic in mind. So <laughs> we're gonna strain that into our glass. Wonderful. Just get all that particulate in there. You could double strain this if you want, but uh, who needs Why that? Not? Why not? Just do the whole hmm, whole thing. I don't think it's ready though. What does this? What else does it need? Oh no, Ben! What type of pepper is that? <laughs> what I gather from that is that it's a ghost pepper. Yeah. It's a ghost pepper. It's a spooky ghost. Oh, God. Everyone be careful with ghost peppers. Uh, yeah, I'm scared their... to touch this with my hands. Okay. Um, but you brought it out. Put it in the drink. We had habanero sauce. Might as well double down and do ghost pepper. Oh. Yeah, so it... Hmm. Yeah, let's just rim it. Let's just... Let's just... Let's just be really sad. Let's just... Let's just hate ourselves. Everybody ready? Okay, so this is a very uh, beautiful looking drink. I'm gonna uh, put, put this off for as long as I can. Uh, it, uh. Boy, <laughs> this is a drink. Bottoms up. I'll do it too, it's only fair. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a slow burn. It is, yes, uh, you can feel it. There's this warmth <laughs> that creeps down in into your body. Oh, oh okay, man. So okay. What else we're going to do? Take oh, this, dude. Put it in there. Oh no. Put it around a little bit. Put it. Oh no. Back on the outside. Let me give this a try. This might be better. Oh no, Mike. Oh no. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Good news. That's a lot better, Ben. Ben. I've got ice. No, no, no. Come on. Okay. Be a man. Try our hate drink. Try our evil hate drink. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That went right in my throat. Yeah. Yeah, it does that, doesn't it? Ooh, fuck. Ugh. Um. You see, this time I wasn't caught by surprise. He's caught me with this surprise before. This time I was prepared. I'm gonna die later, though. Like, I'm, I'm gonna You're die. just crunch ice into a microphone. Oh man. Okay, so this is like a dare drink. Um, <laughs> okay, genuinely. Okay, genuinely, it's not that bad. Um, I've had spicy stuff <laughs> before that that is that trumps this. This isn't all too bad. Um, yeah, th this ghost pepper is a little weak. It's been in the freezer. We we grew these back in the uh, mm -hmm. summer and froze a few of them, and it's actually not falling apart like I thought it would. No, like it's doing, doing a okay. It, and it's spicy too, but it's not. Um, I think if you had a fresh one, it, this would obviously be worse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The Shiracha UV adds some layers to it, but it's not really the thing adding the spice. That's all in the two hot sauces. 100%. Um, in fact, oh. if you don't have the um, uh, the uh, cocktail onions, you can almost skip them. It, you kind of... You can garnish with anything you'd garnish a dirty martini with. My point is... Olives, pickled garlic. My point is, I don't think it's adding anything to the flavor uh, profile of this, because uh, once you add a ghost pepper onto it, all bets are off. Uh, without the ghost pepper, this is a very manageable drink. Uh, it's 
spicy if you're down for a spicy cocktail, which obviously is not everyone's deal, but it's very interesting. Ben's dying oh. somehow. Um, Last when we tried this before, it was Mike that was like, "Yeah, you got the hiccups." Yeah, it was bad. It was a worse ghost pepper. I mean, it's kind of horrendous. No, that's pretty horrendous. Yeah, this is. I I have to stress. I haven't tasted this yet. It is an unholy smell. <laughs> there were a few things wrong with that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Um, yeah, this this is actually a pretty manageable drink, all things considered. Like, I, I can sip at this. It's not a problem. I would prefer not to, though. Yeah. <clears throat> but, I mean, does it live up to the name? Is it fiendish? Is it... Mm. When the ghost pepper hits the back of your throat, it absolutely <clears throat> is. Um, and the nice thing about doing this along the rim is that you're, um, when that pepper juice hits your lips, they just burn. Just all over, all the way up to your God. nose. Um, yeah, this time the ghost pepper isn't that bad, so, you know, um... I guess you could use an habanero and it would have a different uh, flavor profile on that, but really the pepper is the, the star of the show here, like the evil thing that people don't expect. Thank you for um, being the uh, the one who's talking right now because I'm getting like <laughs> reflux from this. Okay, so this is our, this is our trio of, mar uh, of martinis um, and uh, they are all great successes. I think that's all we got for now? Yep. Okay, let's clean up. Alrighty. that's all we got for you today um remember to like comment share subscribe drink responsibly drink responsibly my god especially if you're drinking with ghost peppers yeah this is not responsible no. um do it though <laughs> do it to your friends do it to your enemies do it to your enemies yeah make them drink irresponsibly actually don't do that in case you didn't know, we also have a Patreon. It goes to support this show, but uh, it's also for our D&D site, Middle Finger of Vecna, where we make all sorts of stuff for D&D 5th Edition. Um, it might seem like a bit of a non sequitur, but we uh, uh, kind of run the show on this, and it works, it works really well. Yep. So, yeah. All right. You guys uh, have a good one. Cheers. <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? How did that remotely work?